So we have three of these trees that got girdled completely by a rabbit or some vermin of a very any variation. We're gonna go ahead and try to bridge graft them. Uh, basically, we're gonna connect the bottom to the top so the bark is still there. So the first thing we want to do here is cut little sticks off the that thing off the tree. These sticks are generally the newer twigs from the year previous. It'll be very easy to strip the bark off. Now, what we want to do when we cut these branches, there's basically three layers. There's a brown, lightish brown, then there's the green, and then there's the bark. So the green is where the sap connects the roots to leaves and the fruit and buds and all that, the, the branches basically. So here's one of the twigs. We're just gonna try to remove this bark. We had to do it very carefully because we don't want to tear the bark. Then it becomes useless. See, there's four other sticks on this table. Those were failed efforts. This is a very tedious process. Not right now, obviously, the video is sped up significantly. But I probably did, as you can see in the background, there's a few branches or barks that were already removed and they're sitting in a little pool of water. It's very important to keep these wet. Now it's another thing to mention that this is being done during early spring, late winter. So it's about 30 degrees outside and I'm doing this in a greenhouse. And here's another, you know, another version of removing the bark. This one's a bit more clear. Now, as you can see, you have to do it very carefully and you got to get as much of the green as possible. Now, that's what, that's probably the most important thing. So essentially this twig came off one of the three trees that were girdled. So once we're, we're, we're going to use about six of these barks per tree. So now here we're going to start to attach the, I guess, I forget what they call them like a scion I think it is, but this technically isn't a scion because scions, you just cut the stick and then yeah, cut the end of it. It's kind of lazy. This is just taking the whole bark and then just sticking it in. So essentially you're replacing one for one, the missing bark with the new bark. Now, as you can see here, we're trying to connect the green to the green. We, get, we try to get the new bark underneath the old bark. And then once we get these all on, we're gonna attach them to the top the same way. Now this is a very long process, this part of the video is sped up as well. But essentially we're, we're just going to reconnect the highways here, the, the bottom to the top. That way the sap, once it gets to springtime, the sap can begin to flow. Because uh, right now the roots are disconnected from the rest of the tree, you know, the branches and the leaves and the fruit and all that. Uh, these are pear trees, that, that's probably worth mentioning. Right now we're just putting electrical tape around it to make it a, not really a, yet a seal, but, but just to keep the bark close to the tree. So as you can see here, we've cut enough pieces of bark to completely encompass the circumference of the tree. That way we're basically maintaining the same highway that it was prior to the tree being girdled. That'll make the tree happy and healthy long term, hopefully. Now see on the top here, we need to connect these as well, the same way we connected from the bottom, green on green. You know, there's the brown, green, and then there's the bark. And this is new bark that come, a newer bark cut off the newer twigs. Now we're just gonna wrap the rest up with electrical tape. And then once we get wrapped, once we finish wrapping this with electrical tape, that'll hold this on. So now it's a good tight, it's not really a seal, it's not yet watertight. Now I don't show it on this video, but we do put toilet wax around the outside of this electrical tape. That helps to keep it sealed because if it's not sealed, it'll dry up really quick. Now these zip ties are just to hold the electrical tape on. It's kind of cheap electrical tape, so we want to make sure it doesn't peel off. And then we use this uh, tree guard so the rats don't get it. See, right, if you look at the bottom, you can see this toilet wax on. Now here's a picture. This is a this is in the springtime. Now this is a few months after we fixed the girdle. As you can see, the, the tree is beginning to bud. There's a lot of green on it. Every stick, you know, nearly every stick has budding. 
So that, that's a great sign. That means the tree is gonna be great again. As you can see here, now here's the second tree. See, we I put some toilet wax on after the fact. Now the same deal with this tree. It, there's lots of budding. So that, that's a good sign. In fact, that's a great sign. We're keeping the tree great again. And there's budding all the way to the top too. There's not just a few sticks. So that means that the highway is still very full, but there's plenty of lanes for the sap to run up from the roots to the rest of the tree. Now hopefully we can show in you know later later video where, where the fruit is starting to come in or the flowers and that kind of stuff. Now here's the third tree. As you can see there's budding, budding, more budding, lots of green. Pretty much green on every stick. So that's a great sign. Very, very happy with how this came out. I'm trying to focus it on the top, but that's not really working. Now here's from about a week after that first one. So as you can see, the, the tree is progressing. So initially the tree was great again after getting girdled, and now the tree is, now the, it's keeping the tree great again. And as we walk over to the next tree here, again, they'll, all the, the, you know, the buds will be progressing very nicely. Might be a little hard to see, but we'll try to zoom in on some of these here to get a good eye. I mean, there's a lot of twigs, a lot of branches, a lot of sticks, and they're all budding. So that's a spectacular sign. Very happy with how this turned out. It definitely was worth the six hours making up all the bark and everything and very carefully peeling it off. And again, here's the same, same deal. Lots of buds on the tree. That, that's kind of the, and it's probably a bit repetitive by now. But yeah, hopefully we can show maybe a little bit later on when it's just fruit and flowers and all that good stuff. But yeah, if, you're, if your trees are girdled, it, you just, if the six hours isn't worth it and it's more convenient to just spend 50 bucks buying a new tree, then that might be the way to go. But, but out here we try to defend life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thank you for watching.